Good evening. We are learning more about an Amber Alert that was issued by Auburn Police this morning. A woman reported that her child was taken from the home and could be in danger, but police say that wasn't entirely true. News Channel 15's Angelica Robinson joins us live in the newsroom with what she's learned. Yeah, the two people involved have two very different stories about what happened. The mother told me today that she called 911 after her son's father beat her up and took off with the baby. But the father told police that she was the aggressor and she was trying to get and he was trying to get his son to safety. This all sparked a, a search for that boy that lasted for hours as police worked to get to the bottom of it. We went back to the place where it all began, a home in Auburn on the 100 block of South McClellan Street. A woman who identified herself as Angela Williams opened the door and she only spoke briefly. She says Dale Craig, the father of her child, lives there with her sometimes. And last night a heated argument spiraled out of control. She called 911, reported that Craig beat her up, then ran off with their two-year-old son. It prompted lead detective Stacy Sexton to send an Amber Alert. Yeah, based on what she had said and some of their prior history that, that they had. According to police, the boy was taken from the home around 3 this morning. An Amber Alert went out around 7.30 a.m. About the same time, police caught up with Craig and his son. It just happened that, that we were following up a lead and, you know, we're not going to sit on our hands and wait for somebody else to come in, especially if we can go find it ourselves. We're going to do that. The child was not hurt, but Craig had cuts on his arms. Craig told police Williams did it, and he took off with his son because he feared for their safety. Williams was reportedly under the influence of alcohol during the altercation. There was some mistakes made by both parties, and those were explained to both parties of maybe what they should have done instead of doing what they did. Police say no charges will be filed against the mother or the father. Uh, we did try to contact the father to get his side of the story, but we have not heard back. Reporting live in the newsroom, Angelica Robinson, News Channel 15.